going to be reading um, Vera Britton's The Testament of Youth. Now, I hadn't read it since I was a girl, but for some reason, I decided last year to reread it. And every now and again, I was talking to Danny about um, something I'd read um, and, and commenting on it. And he said to me, we do have two females why on earth are we not doing something about the women in the First World War, the role of the women? The project is the first means by which we raise the profile of the church. Uh, so it is our first project. There may be many other projects. Um, this, one's quite, this, this one is a major community project, hence we, uh, a lot of effort has gone into it. And um, we feel that it will raise the profile of the church. It is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Folkestone. Folkestone is a terrific heritage and we need to promote that. So it, it all comes together uh, and hence the project is uh, important to us. I got a little carried away, uh, which is probably my fault, that this would be a really good thing for the children of Folkestone who are hearing about the first but my experience of children has always been that they learn better if they're hands-on, if they're actually involved and having fun, it sticks. So the workshops will lead into the three shows, which will be at St. Mary and St. Eanswith, and hopefully will fill the church, the rafters, and make it used for other than church services. And bring it back into the community, bring it back to where it should be. Okay, anyway, that's what it's all about. Listen. Listen. We're trying to evolve around 10 to 15 schools. I've been into seven already, and I, in each school I run three workshops telling them and teaching their children about the role of women in, the, in our country during the war. For instance, women that took up the jobs of bus conductors and the, uh, the Women's Land Army and nurses and what women did to keep the country running because without the women the country would have come to a standstill while many of the men were fighting. Before the project I didn't, I didn't know that um, women worked on the railway in the war. I've learned that how little women hired before the war. I've learned that um, women went abroad to be nurses. We've got lots of personal stories, lots of letters. We've put them together all on the website so that the children can read through them. We've got lots of letters that um, the, the women have received from the soldiers that were out there that the women themselves have written as well. So there's lots of very personal t uh, stories and tales there for the children to, to read. We wanted to take that kind of a slant with it so that the children can have that empathy and not just read about sort of more generic facts that you can get through history and lessons in school, which is all, it serves its purpose and has its place, but we wanted them to really learn a much more at home side to it, so that they can have an understanding of what people actually felt. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. While you've a Lucifer to light your fag, small boys, that's the style. What's the use of worrying? teaching the children some songs that were sung during World War I, some of the songs we're singing are over 100 years old, and I am then writing an original song for Tatita for us to do uh, for this project about the role, specifically about the role of women during World War I in this country. So it's a nice and simple song, great song. Do you think you might know it now? Have you heard it before? I'm feeling it! All right, so everyone go for me just to check every line and then we're going to sing it, and then we're going to march. So it goes, Pack up your troubles in your own. And so one of the songs I've used is Goodbye, which was a song that uh, is about the women pretending to be happy as they say goodbye to their soldier husbands, even though they're not happy. We're using a song called uh, Keep the Home Fires Burning, which is the exact opposite. It's the women, while talking, singing about while they're at home, um, they're missing their loved ones. But they're going to keep the home nice and warm, so when their loved ones come home who they're yearning for, will have a nice home to come to. So, so you're singing songs where they're pretending to be happy for the good of the country, and you're also singing songs where they are admitting that they're upset and what they're going to do about it. And so by doing that, by using songs, you kind of like elicit various emotions of the women through the different songs that they're singing at the time.
We're going to build a, a production. So that at the end of half term, we have used all the exercises and improvisations and stuff we've done over these weeks to build a lovely production that everyone can come and see. Well, we hope that they will come every Saturday morning just to spend three hours doing body work, doing voice work, breathing. They'll be learning tips for how to perform. So a lot of them have already been on stage, but in a children's capacity. So it's nice that they, these days with so many children being involved in the theatre, they really need to know how to behave with the theatre and how to respect other actors and how not to be self-conscious, so also to build confidence. And then by the end of those sessions, hopefully we can have children who are feeling confident enough to actually perform to the public, um, which will get people not only coming to see all the hard work they've done, but to get people to St. Ian's Wits to just enjoy the wonderful building, really. Who's feeling nervous? Slightly nervous? No. I don't like and I'm feeling very nervous right now. A bit nervous. Make sure that everything you do is very controlled. Even if it's just scratching your face, there are, there are ways of doing it so that you can be very subtle with it, okay? And imagine that we're looking at you. I'm very nervous, but I'm also excited. Because I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's good. I'm feeling quite nervous. Messenger said, with their orders in hand, plows in the fields, our girls on the land. The skills that they learn now come home to roost. Accomplished and confident, dreams now set loose. Trousers were placed, the pomp before. Women made rotors, all thanks to the war. Right.